welcome to jce connect today we are going to solve one more problem on rcc beam here we are going to determine the different quantities of bars first i will read the problem this is problem number 8 uh, rcc 1 is to 2 is to 4 rectangular beam 20 cm wide 30 cm deep and 3 m overall length is reinforced with a tall steel bars three bars 16 mm dia with a weight of 1.5 kg per meter two at outer bars means outer side and one straight bar at the center two outer bars are straight and l hooked at the ends and inner bar bent up at 45 degree at appropriate places with l hooked at the ends it means that you will be having Uh, totally three bars at the bottom, two at the outer side, which are straight and L hooked at the ends, and the central bar, that is inner bar, which is bent up at forty five degree uh, at appropriate places, and that is also having L hook. And uh, the top details are at the top, two outer hangers are ten mm dia with a weight of zero point six two kg per meter, straight and L hooked at the ends. Stirrups are six mm in dia. Uh, MS bars with a weight of zero point two two kg per meter, and spaced at twenty centimeter center to center. All concrete covers two point five centimeter. First, we have to draw sketches showing the arrangement of reinforcement for the beam, and show the appropriate method of entering the measurements in the column of measurement book, and prepare a bill of quantities for the beam. All quantities are for one beam. This is the problem. Now here they have mentioned two types of steel. One, the main bars are of tall steel, and the distribution bar means the stirrups are of uh, MS bar, mild steels. So you have to separate the tall steel quantity and mild steel quantity. Now I'll start with the straight bars. Now this is what I have drawn here, a longitudinal section. Uh, the beam is, you know, spanned for three meter, and then it is having a cover of zero point zero two five meters at all sides. Then it is having a depth of, you know, thirty centimeter, and the width of twenty centimeter. That what it is mentioned in the problem, and as said that see what you have to determine is that first I am going to take all straight bars. So this is my step number one. So here I am going to determine the all straight bars, right? I have mentioned here see the top bars are of ten mm dia hanger bars, and here I have mentioned it is uh, bottom bars all are of sixteen mm dia. So two straight bars will be there in the bottom. And two straight bars will be there in the top. So now I'm going to determine the straight bar. So previous classes also we have seen how to determine the straight bar. Now I'll show you. See that it is very simple. You have to take overall length. See this is overall length I have taken here. Then to this overall length, what you have to do is that. See this is the overall length. To this overall overall length, you have to deduct the covers here. Right. Point zero two five point zero two five from both the sides. Then you have to add the yell hooks. See here you have having you are having yell hooks here. Previous problem you have seen that you had uh, no uh, these kind of hooks, right? Both the sides. But here we are having yell hooks. For yell hooks we are going to change the formula a bit, right? Now if bars are straight and having hooks at both the ends, then See here, the length of bar is L minus two covers plus hooks, right? So two into six pi I have uh, six uh, dia six uh, six into uh, dia I have taken means six times of dia two. It shows that you are having two hooks at rear ends, right? So I have written here. Now see, now if you go to this L minus two into covers plus two into six times of dia. That is length of straight bar, where L is overall span, and two covers. That is two into zero point zero two five. Then you will be having two into six times of dia. For L hook, you are going to take six times of a dia. 
whereas for a, a, a normal round hook you are going to take nine times of a dia that note i have shown here right now you can see that what i have shown here note hook length that is for round hook you will be having two times of nine into dia and for l hook you are having two into six times of dia right so that you have no you are supposed to take this while considering the hook so it is very simple take full length deducting the cover from both the ends then adding the hooks for that adding the hooks that's it right so that i have taken here 16 mm dia two bars see here 16 mm dia two bars so length of 16 mm by dia straight bars see three overall length minus two into 0.02 for you i am deducting the covers plus adding two into six times of a dia six into 0.016 so it is going to be 3.14 meter that is the total length of 16 mm straight bars of no those are of at outer edge those are at outer edge that is a 16 mm dia of 16 mm dia so total length of 16 mm dia two bars bottom bars is 3.14 meter similarly for 10 mm dia two bars see here i'll be showing you those we call them as hanger bars right so top bars those will be so those we are going to take now so that is see same thing you are going to take the total overall span overall length minus deducting the cover plus adding the both side six times of a dia right so here three meter is overall span minus two covers two into 0.025 plus two into six into 0.010 that is 10 mm dia so it is 0.010 so you'll be getting the length of 10 mm straight bar is 3.07 meter now we have got the straight bars two of 16 mm bars at the bottom and two of 10 mm bars at the top step 2 now we are going to determine the length of bent up bar that is cranked bar now this figure shows how that cranked bar is placed into the beam now as i said that here you will be having uh, overall depth and then uh, overall span and covers i have shown here right so here you will be having all covers are 0.025 meters and here also it is 0.025 meters so 16 mm dia bars are going to be bent now if a bar is cranked at both the ends at 45 degree and having a hook at both the ends then the total length of bent up bar is see it is l minus two covers plus two bends plus 2 into 6 times of dia of bars that is for hooks two hooks where you will be having l is overall length that is of 3 meter and then you will be having two covers 2 into 0.025 that is 0.05 meters and then we will be having 2 into 0.42d that is for two bends now that extra bend you are going to take it as 0.42d you are having two bends so you are multiplying that with the two so it is going to be 2 into 0.42d now here i have taken see this 2 into 0.42 into 0.23 that is going to be 0.19 meter now how i got this 0.23 i have shown it here now this is d quantity now how i got that d now if you see this figure here i'll be having this d right that is from center of this bar to center of this bar that this is going to be your d right now see this this is going to be your d now to get this distance what you have to do see you have to take overall depth then you have to deduct two covers from here and from here then after deducting two covers what you have to take now see this this is going to start from half of the dia of bar here and half of the dia of bar here so also you have to deduct the half of dia of bars then you are going to get the effective depth now that i have shown here d is equal to uh, see this capital d minus 2 covers minus 2 into half of the dia bars two sides half of the dia bars so it is going to be 30 cm minus 2 times of 2.5 cm minus 
2 into 1.6 by 2 so it is going to be now if you convert that into the meters it is going to be now that that d small d effective depth is going to be 0 0.23 meters so that i am going to consider in the formula now see this total length of cranked bar that is bent up bar is 3 minus 2 covers 2 into 0 0.025 plus 2 bends extra bends 2 into 0 0.42 into 0 0.23 plus L hooks that is 2 into 6 into 0 0.016 meter so you'll be having the cranked bar length or bent up bar length as 3.33 meters now step number three here we are going to determine the length of stirrer now see it is very simple uh, calculation to get this see how, how you are going to get this see you are having two times of effective depth here right means this side one and this side one you are having two types of effective width here this side one and this side one so see what you are going to add two times of d effective plus b effective plus you are supposed to add the two hooks that is 24 times of dia that's it that is the total length of stirrup but how to get this d effective now see this you are having total depth here right that is 0.3 meter 30 centimeter and you will be having total width here that is 0.2 meter that is 20 centimeter now here to get this see this effect to that you are supposed to deduct the cover from this side and cover from this side so that i have taken here now that i have taken inner depth as d effective now how to get this see this you will be having overall depth minus two covers minus two times of dia now why this two times of dia see if you go to the practical no aspect of this stirrup you can see that the corners will not be like this right exactly you know sharp edges the corners will be like this see there will be there will be a small bend there right so that much quantity you have to deduct so that we are going to consider it as two times of die of bars so here you will be having a you know a, a smooth edge although i have shown uh, 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 you know while drawing i have drawn like this a sharp edge but uh, practically it will be a smooth edge like this then again and again like this then you'll be having a bend then like this again like this right so smooth edge will be there so that deduction you have to do there so that i'm going to take here now see this overall depth minus two cover minus that whatever sharp uh, that, that bend will be there at the corner so that we take it as two times of die off bar so that is going to be 0.3 minus two times of 0 0.025 both side cover minus 2 into 0 0.006 that is 6 mm dia bar is there so it is going to be see this 0 0.238 now i'll rounding it up to the 0 0.24 meters so this is my inner that effective depth is 0 0.24 meter similarly inner width right so i'm going to take it as overall width minus two covers minus that smooth rounding that is 2 into uh, two times of dia of bars that i'm going to take there so it is going to be see this overall width is 0.2 covers two times of 0 0.025 minus 2 into 0 0.006 so you'll be having 0 0.138 meters width so that you can rounding up to the 0 0.14 meter now we got the uh, inner depth also inner width now we can easily get the total length as i said that total length is two times of inner depth plus inner width into hooks hooks that is 24 times of dia now here as i said that total length of stirrup is see this two times of inner width plus inner depth plus two hooks that is 24 times of dia that is the uh, no that what we take for stirrup hook right so that I have shown here that two times of b effective plus d effective plus 24 times of that where b effective is 0 0.14 meter d effective is 0 0.24 meter and dia is 0 0.006 meters stirrup length is 2 into 0 0.14 plus 0 0.24 plus 24 times of 0 0.006 it is going to be 0 0.90 meters now 
determination of number of stirrups is also important so that number of stirrups is equal overall span minus 2 covers divided by spacing plus 1 right so that will give you the numbers of stirrups so overall span is 3 meter 2 covers 2 into 0 0.0025 meter uh, 0.025 meter into 2 that is divided by 0.2 is the spacing which is given in the problem plus 1 that is going to be 15.74 numbers I am going to round it up for 16 numbers so I'll be having total numbers of stirrups as 16 number length is 0.9 meter and numbers are 16 now all together we are going to summarize this into the bar bending scheduling sheet bar bending sheet now this is the uh, scheduling sheet bar bending sheet now here I have shown first item is see that straight bars bottom bars I have taken straight bottom bars dia is 16 mm we are having two numbers length we got at it uh, it has a 3.14 meter so if you multiply this see 2 into 3.14 you are going to get the 6.28 meters now to this total length if you multiply with the weight per meter that is 1.58 kg per meter 6 into 1.58 kg will give you the total weight that is 9.92 kgs similarly for cranked bar see we are having here for cranked bars see uh, you are going to have 16 mm dia only one number is one number of die is going to be cranked or it is going to be bent then the length we have got 3.33 meters now if you multiply that with the numbers so 1 into 3.33 so total length is 3.33 meters if you multiply this 3.33 meter with the weight per meter which is given into the problem so that is 1.58 kg per meter then you will be having 5.26 kg that is the total weight now similarly if you take two straight bars that is top bars we call it as no we call them as hanger bars right so two hanger bars so dia is of 10 mm numbers are two and the length is 3.07 meter if you multiply 2 into 3.07 you will be having 6.14 meter weight is given that is 0.62 kg per meter now if you multiply this 6.14 now if you multiply this see here 6.14 into 0.62 you are going to get the 3.80 kg now see here you are going to separate the tor steel quantity and ms steel quantity no, you, you have to separate it so these three main bars right so these three are of tor steel quantities right so I am going to add see this 9.92 plus this 5.26 plus 3.80 so it is going to be 18.98 kg so this is the tor steel quantity and this is the total tor steel quantity that is 18.98 kg now the stirrups quantity that is ms steel stirrup length 6 mm dia and you will be having the uh, total numbers 16 numbers we have got and length of each bar is 0.9 meter 16 into 0.9 it is going to be 14.40 uh, and that we are going to multiply with this 0.22 kg per meter you will be having the quantity as 3.168 kg that is mild steel total ms steel reinforcement so i have separated see uh, the tor steel separate quantity and the mild steel separate quantity and if see uh, weight per meter is not given of any particular bar now what you can do is that in previous problem i so uh, also i told you that you can take see this dia square divided by 162 now that dia you should have in terms of mm whatever the outcome you are going to get that will be in terms of kg per meter right so it is very easy to get the uh, weight per meter if it is not given in the problem then you are supposed to do that what you are supposed to do see dia square divided by 162 now the dia should be in terms of mm 
now here this is the measurement sheet now here you are going to have the all the particulars particular means for any rcc structure or rcc component you are having concreting quantity you are having centering and shuttering then you are having steel quantities so here uh, no uh, again in this problem we have separated tor steel and mine steel so four different elements or particulars i am going to uh, write into this measurement book this we called as mb book also so here you are supposed to write the detailed measurement of a particular item now if you see this first one first one is uh, uh, rcc here that is uh, cement concrete 1 is to 2 is to 4 for rcc work that is for beam so you will be having one number for, for one beam we are deriving all these things so you will be having uh, see that dimensions see 3 meter overall span then 2 meter is the uh, width and depth is 0.3 meter so that is see this is overall length and this is overall length 3 meter right and you will be having width of 0.2 here this is 0.2 width and then you will be having depth of 0.3 meters so that quantity of cement concrete 1 is to 2 is to 4 is 0 0.18 meter cube now if you multiply 0 0.3 into 0 0.2 into 0 0.3 uh, uh, meter into 0 0.2 into 0 0.3 you will be having 0 0.18 meter cube this is the quantity of cement concrete and now similarly if you come to the centering and shattering now see what are things you will be having so first you are supposed to have the bottom you know that you have to do the shattering for bottom centering and shattering for the bottom of beam then you are supposed to do the uh, sides centering and shattering for the sides both sides bottom will be one sides you will be having two sides right and the ends right here at the ends so you will be having two ends okay so that we are going to do here now if you see this bottom of beam one number then length i have taken it as 2.4 how i got this 2.4 see overall span is 3 meter right so you have to deduct the wall bearing right walls now it is going to be rest on that is 30 centimeter wall both side you will be having 30 centimeter wall so that deduction you have to do right that i have shown here how i got that length that is 3 minus both side what you will be having wall you will be having right so that deduction you have to do so you will be getting 2.4 then width is 0.2 here width is 0.2 if you multiply length into width you will be getting the bottom shattering that is 0 0.48 meter square now the shattering centering and shattering will be in terms of meter square quantities right so see here you will be having wall this side and here also you will be having wall so apart from these walls the water place it is going to be there that you have to cover right there you have to use the plank or plates so that is going to be your bottom of beam right so you have to deduct the both side bearings walls right so that i have did and i got the 0 0.48 meter square for bottom sides see you are having two numbers of sides right here one and that side one so two number of sides you are supposed to take now sides will be for overall length full length that is 3 meter and you will be having the full depth that is 0.3 meter so it is going to be 1.8 meter square sides right then end of beam see you will be having only uh, this rectangle portion here for the end this side one and this side one so end of beam will be see two numbers size that is width is 0.2 depth is 0.3 you will be having 0 0.12 2 into 0 0.2 into 0 0.3 you will be getting 0 0.12 so totally here centering and shattering will be 2.40 meter square then see separate quantity for tor steel we have got 18.98 kgs and separate quantity for that is ms steel you will be having 3.168 kg now this is what they have asked in the problem and we have performed and we got these details and we filled in this measurement book now this is what from my side i am professor balasaheb jamadar thank you thank you very much